What's going on guys? Chase with iDub Hockey here to do a quick comparison between the new Bauer Vapor 2X Pro and the CCM Jetspeed FT2. Starting at the bottom, we have the Tuke LS5 carbon steel. Now we have a carbon nitrate outer coating that increases edge retention, also provides a little bit better durability, preventing nicks and burrs. On the FT2, we have the XS1 black stainless steel. So this has a nice outer coating that prevents Corrosion also improves your overall edge retention, just like the LS5. Uh, I would give the advantage on the LS5 with that carbon nitrate coating because of the edge bite it does add. Now we have quick release systems on both skates. We have the XS1, which is a mechanical blade lock system using this dial in the back. So the way that it attaches internally, it prevents any shifting of the runner inside of the holder. So gives you a little bit better energy transfer. And CCM did have a little bit of extra time to work on this. Now, this was the first quick release trigger system uh, from Bauer. I'm sure they're working on one right now, but for now, we have the most popular holder in the game today, the Tuke Edge Runner. So it has a spring-loaded trigger system that allows you to swap out damaged or broken steel just as quick as the XS1, um, but great to have in case you lose an edge during the game or if you even break your steel. Into the boots, Real big different uh, constructions here. We have the one piece light frame 360 Evo in the FD2. I gotta give them the edge here with the one piece construction because it does provide a little bit better wrap underneath the foot than a more traditional two piece construction. Uh, it's something you notice your first time using a one piece boot. It also helps to reduce the amount of materials between the bottom of the boot connecting into the holder. So reduces weight a little bit and improves the uh, foot to ice connection a hair too. I mean that. 2X Pro is no slouch though. Uh, these have been one of the most popular skate families in the NHL for quite some time. There's a lot of reasons behind that. This year, they're introducing their carbon curve in the Vapor line, which is brought over from the Supreme line. A little bit more thermoformable, uh, still incredibly lightweight, and also very, very responsive. This has a composite outsole, so very lightweight. Some of the best material you will find in an outsole today. It's vented, much like the FD2, to allow moisture to escape out, keeping you cool and dry during the game. Toe caps, real big difference between the 2X and the FD2. So we have the new asymmetrical uh, toe cap here. Using 25,000 different scans from Bauer's 3D scanner, they went ahead and really looked at how they can reduce volume in the toe cap. They even lined the top underside of the toe cap with felt, so it just feels like one of those power foot inserts if you've ever used them, but incredibly comfortable. Also just has just really nice connected feel. And then you have a nice traditional toe cap in the FT2. Bauer came out with this one piece injected facing that now integrates better with the toe cap than in years past. Uh, improved durability as well as energy transfer. Uh, you can tell there's not really an injected facing on this. It's right into the boot. So really just going to the heart of things here. Really low profile look because of reducing the amount of non-performance materials throughout the skate to decrease the overall weight of the skate. Big, big difference in tongues. Uh, we have the Metatomic Tongue, which is an asymmetrical design on the FT2. Really thick felt, as well as injected foams through the center. High density foam through the top to give you that good protection with big, big slashes, as well as pucks. Um, but a little bit more traditional of a fit and feel. Now on the 2X Pro, this is what they call their Recoil Pro. A little bit different from what we saw in the previous 1X. Still real nice pro level felt through the top. Thick injected foams, dual density insert over the top. I really like how wide and uh, floppy it can get if you like to get uh, some nasty flop out of your skates. Compared to the 1X though, it does offer a lot better forward flex as does the FD2. At the tops, we do have good thick comfort edge. These are both incredibly stiff, lightweight skates, so you want to have some give at the top of the boot, especially when you're breaking these in. They can start to dig into your upper ankle, so uh, really cool to see both teams really addressing an issue for these elite-level skates. 
into the liner. Uh, somewhat similar, but also very different. Starting with the 2X Pro, we have the LockFit Pro liner. And this is a dual zone liner that has a moisture management system towards the top. At the bottom of the boot, it's more about locking in the foot, keeping you just ready every play of the game, no matter how sweaty the inside gets. Uh, we have Aerofoam Pro in the memory foam ankle pads. Very, very comfortable. Big change for vapor this year. And then also some anti-abrasion pads that we'll also see in the FD2. So uh, incredibly comfortable right out of the box, but I would still recommend going ahead and baking these just like you should bake your FD2s. Now for the FD2s, we have the Total Dry Pro Plus. Dual zone as well, but not the exact way that Bauer does it. More of a traditional sort of leather feeling in the tendon guard, and then a nice moisture wicking microfiber at the bottom. Uh, very comfortable, it's gonna do a good job of managing moisture as well. But with the thick foams, again, CCM, just like Bauer, really will look to increase that out of the box comfort. So thicker foams in the ankle. Both of these skates are incredible. A little more tapered fitting skates, giving you that great heel lock, even though the jet speed was widened a little bit in the heel this year. Really, if these are your two choices, you're not gonna lose either way. If you guys are looking for more information on Bauer as well as CCM skates, make sure you go to icewarehouse.com.